Act's Nigerian music veteran Charlie Boy in a lengthy post shared via his Instagram page as apologized to his daughter over his famous post where he recounted uh, um, about how she came out as a lesbian. According to him, I know that he wrote, I know the last few days may have been tough for you. Uh, following from my Friday's post for parents only on my Instagram. I apologize if my post rubbed you the wrong way for this. I am deeply sorry. My bad. Forgive me. But honestly, I was talking to parents trying to get them to understand that they can only give good advice or put their children on the right path. But the final forthcoming of a person's character lies in their own hands. And um, this is coming off the back of um, Charlie Boy who came out a few years ago to talk about almost kind of like disowning his daughter and then um, saying because of our um, sexual orientation and then his daughter also disowning him back and then they haven't spoken in like five years and then suddenly you wake up one morning and you're saying how proud you are as a father for your daughter claiming a sexuality and owning to it and um, you said for parents only and she's coming out like dude why are you being a cloud chaser we haven't spoken in five years why are you acting like you're proud of me and he has apologized for that but what's your take on that what do you I think, think? It's I think the important part of that story for me was is the daughter's response mm. after he first put out the good post because mm. I didn't know the story. Mm. So um, when I saw it on Twitter, I just saw Charlie Boy in Nigerian with mm. a lot of influence mm. saying he's proud of his daughter regardless of the fact that he might not understand. If anybody knows me, they know that that's my thing. Like, mm. I don't need to understand your sexuality. I'm not mm. girl lesbian, but I'm an ally. Mm. I'm mm. not Muslim, but I'm I'm with you. I'm yeah. not Christian, but I'm with, with you. you. Like, You're I, not Christian. No, I won't identify as Christian. Uh, but I, 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 watch, I, I, um, I love God. Me and God, we do our thing. I don't follow anybody else's anything. So, you know, but I'm with you. I'll support you and everything. So, but a lot of the times, that's not the reality that we live in. There's mm. Islamophobic people, there's homophobic people. And in Nigeria... Homophobia is a big thing. Mm. So when I saw that, Huge. I was like, oh my goodness, I'm so proud finally. A parent is a big deal, it's a big win mm. for the children, the Nigerian children who are queer and everything. And I even texted and said, oh my gosh, Charlie Boy, I'm so proud of you. Blah, blah, blah. And then Not I knowing see that. These babes, whatever. You see, to me, that makes his first post and this post, to me, extremely manipulative. And extremely like like it's one of those people that are very twisted you know those those people where like you are in a in a toxic relationship with them in fact you're in an abusive relationship with them but not the, not the whole world doesn't know mm. and you try to take your peace and not cause any trouble and then they they try to make them look they try, they to, try to, to milk them, it yes they try to use the, the public um, perception to make them pe make people think that they are the good ones because in this story, it looks like he's a good father. Yeah, like, you want to congratulate true. him for that. 100. Even with this stupid pose I has put, you say, wow, yeah, he's a what good a father. Great guy. But all of it to me is still clout chasing. Because if you're telling me that you, you posted that tweet, you and your daughter have not, have not spoken. spoken. You are not friends. You're not actually talking to her and then you so say you're proud of mean? her. You're using her lesbian. And you know that the lesbian whatever is going to bring a lot of attention. I feel like you're using your daughter to clout chase. Mm. Period. How about you? I agree with what you just said. Why do you use your daughter's um, issue? Like, why are you making your daughter's issue? Like, so public. Yes. And again, you don't talk to her. Because when I read the story, he said they've not spoken since 2017, when he kicked her out of the house. Mm. Yeah, when um, Charlie Boy found out that she was gay, when she confessed mm. to him, he kicked her out of the house and she had to live with friends. Mm. So why come out to make yourself like this I am wonderful father that accepts your child no matter the circumstance when you're not talking to your daughter? Mm. Okay. And what really, sorry, what really annoyed no, 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 me no, is the apology. Mm. If you read through it, it's not genuine. Like, if you out him just to, said, put something out there so people would not bash yeah, you. That's like, you're not even thing. apologizing to your daughter that sorry for putting you out there. Think, mm. Sorry for not talking to you. Yes. For years. You're just saying you're talking. Like, you didn't I really say sorry for the I crime that the she's claiming. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, you didn't talk about that. You didn't actually say. And then he said, he said this weird, stupid thing that um, I heard that you are now bashing me on social media, oh, and I laughed. Like, that just like I my also, father. Yeah, I'm like, are you kidding, <laughs> bro? What is this? <sighs> if you really want to make an effort, <sighs> if you really want to make an effort, where it's, being a father mm -hmm. actually counts. In, to the child, not on the internet. It does not count being a good father by writing a nice write-up on social media for everybody to like and comment and say, wow, Actions. those are nice words. It, it, it's, if, if, let's say she even said, this guy made an effort to talk to me before he uploaded mm -hmm. that. Even, even stating your child's 
um, sexuality, especially when you're involved, is quite invasive to me because mm. I feel like he's telling the story that she has not given him the permission, permission to do to so. Yeah. Do you understand what I mean? Like obviously no, but she's, like, she's, she's public about no, it. No, but that doesn't mean that she wanted her father, who is a celebrity, to announce that to the world on her behalf. Especially if you're not in a good relationship with each other. Well, so, uh, why you do something like The announcement has been Are you known. comfortable with me coming mm -hmm. out and talking about this? Mm -hmm. Talking about sharing your story. It's not his story. He, his he shared story. her story. That my daughter, I'm so proud mm -hmm. of her. We've come from far, but my daughter's yeah. lesbian. And, 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 then, and, then, my pick up and then, to also, uh, I mean, for people who don't know, mm -hmm. Charlie Boy has also been rumored to be um, queer as well, being mm -hmm. part of the LGBT community, you know, having um, allegedly having a relationship so. with Darren Lee and all of that. But I think Charlie Boy is just that person. He's called the area father he does things that will you must talk about yes. we've had him on this show i mean on the breakfast show and then we saw what he did live on television and um should i let the cut out of the bank here hmm? He'll be here tomorrow, so you don't want to Ooh. miss tomorrow's show. So we'll be speaking mm -hmm. to Charlie Boy. So just stay tuned. Eh? Tomorrow's show, fire. Mm -hmm. But let's let's just focus on this. So what I'm going to take away from all of this is that um, what Charlie Boy actually meant, the intention, yes, it was clout, right? Definitely. It was not his intention for everything he said was not his intention. But everything he said, like you said, you were impressed when you saw it. So I will still take away the good from all of it and still speak to parents that look accept your kids for whoever they are now that's my own focus on the story i don't want to look at um his bad side or whatever he's done obviously i'm not in support of it i feel like it's cloud chasing as well especially if you haven't spoken to her in five years but now for parents only i think you should read charlie boy's post ignore the man who wrote it ignore mm -hmm. the messenger yeah. just read it and um i think all parents try to accept your kids for whatever they, they decide they want to do with their life but um and I, I, I think what, what you just said now is probably the summary of why it's a problem it's when you have an advocate for a good cause who's not actually good it's like saying like you know like I say I'm a, I'm a feminist I say something that that makes feminism sense right and everybody's coming from and they're feeling really empowered and they want to follow my lead but, mm. but truly speaking, I'm actually not a feminist mm. and I'm misogynist. Mm. That's the problem with this. It's like, you, and he's saying that he got a lot of calls and he's doing, he's, like, he's doing a lot of good. But it, I don't know how you can be okay with that when you know that the intentions behind that is actually not pure. Yeah. It's, it's a bit sad. But I think we should take away the intentions, take away the messenger, and let's just read the message. And I'm um, for parents only, actually, because you've seen a lot of parents that don't support their kids for mm. whatever they want to do. I'm not even talking about whether queer or not. You mm. find a lot of kids that want to be musicians, other, yeah. and then yeah. they say, no, you have to be a doctor. Mm. Um, you see a lot of kids that want to be, um, um, what's it called now, footballers, and they tell mm. them, no, you have to be an engineer, you have mm. to be a lawyer, you have to be this. So I think we should start paying attention to what our kids want and what makes them happy because happiness is key you're not going to be a, around for for all eternity mm. for you to see what they turn out to be eventually yeah. and no they, one knows tomorrow i know you want the best for your kids but at the end of the day what is the best for them they also want the best yeah. for themselves and that's I think what we when, when people on. have kids someone just needs to give them a, a placard saying that this child is going to be their own person mm -hmm. i think a lot of the times our parents struggle mm -hmm. not not to have total control of what you decide mm -hmm. that you want to do with mm -hmm. yourself so i think people need to be reminded as soon as you bring them out that yeah they came out of your from from you yes we get that and you are their authority for a while but like he said if i'm going to follow your advice and just take his words and not the person mm -hmm. the last bit where he said you know you can train the person you can even put them on the track that you want them to go but they still make the final decision it's just it's just like that. the um proverb like you can take a horse to the stream but you cannot force mm. it to drink water. water so yeah so basically love wisdom tea time. here guys Whew. what it's a lot of wisdom here i know right <laughs> <laughs> i swear <laughs>